Developing now a woman is dead and a man in custody following an hours long standoff in southeast Portland. This all started as a welfare check Sunday afternoon after a woman called police saying she was being held hostage. Liz Birch joins us now from the scene. What are you learning from police tonight, Liz? Well, police tell us that the man they took into custody has not yet been booked into jail. You can see behind me here, though, still an active police presence while they investigate. Police say despite a suspect firing 30 rounds at them from an apartment, they didn't shoot back. Instead, after an hours long standoff between officers and the suspect, they tell us their special emergency response team broke windows to the apartment. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a war zone. Frank Stiller lives in a nearby apartment unit. He says he was there when police started deploying chemical agents. Got tear gas, tear gas canisters, hit a couple of the cars around here because they missed. Man, it was crazy. Glass was getting broken out, gunshots. He tells me he heard the suspect shooting at police yesterday afternoon. I was working on my car yesterday when the guy started shooting originally. He started shot like 15 shots off. And the police may back wave my car. You know, you can hear the bullets ricocheting off the railings. Police say they used their loudspeaker to ask the suspect to surrender. The guy, he sounded like he was communicating a little bit with the cops. They say they then used a robot to get through the door. Once they finally got inside, they took the suspect into custody, and that's when they found the woman dead. Today, we saw police investigating wearing protective gear because of yesterday's tear gas. Jeff and Elizabeth, still so much I'm working to learn from police about this incident, including the identities of both the suspect and the woman who they found dead. So stick with us. We'll tell you anything new we learn at 6 o'clock and, of course, this evening as well. But for now, live in southeast Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. All right, we'll be checking back. Liz, thank you.